Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another exciting lesson. Today I'm going to teach you programming in FMS Logo. So my friends, let's get cracking! The first step is to look at your computer desktop and find the FMS Logo icon and double click it. You'll notice it does not fill up the entire screen. That is fine. We'll actually keep our video where I train you on this side as you work over here. When you look at this screen, all the action happens up here and the typing happens down here in the commander window where you can hit the execute button. The first command I'd like you to try is forward 50. I want you to note if you spell it right, it'll pop up here and it'll move forward 50. If you spell it wrong, let's say I screwed up and did forward like that in 50, it says, hey, I don't know how to forward. So that's how you can keep track of if you're typing it correctly or if you're not. The next thing I'd like to mention is the compass rose. This little dude is called a turtle, and right now he's aiming at zero on the compass rose. The other four main ones are 90, 180, and 270 when we go this way. I want you to help me draw a shape here. So we're going to type set heading, and we want to change the heading to 90. When you press enter, and you can do this with me, make sure your partners are doing it as well, it aims to the 90 degree area. Once again, we're going to type forward 50 again. Make sure you spell it correctly or it pops in error. And then you can see that the turtle drove forward 50. To complete a square, we need to aim the turtle in a different direction. So right now his nose is pointing 90. Take a second to think what direction would you have to go to draw the rest of your square. Hopefully you remembered that it had to be 180 degrees. So then we are going to type set heading. Notice that awesome shortcut. Instead of all of these words, you can type Seth, and then we can type the number 180 and press enter. Our turtle aims the right way. Just like we have a shortcut for set heading, there is also a shortcut for forward. It is FD and 50. When you press enter, it will now come down and look like this. Your job is to make a square on the screen and then show your partner. If you make a mistake, there's another cool command called clear screen and you can quickly start over. One of my favorite tricks is to click on the old commands and then press enter and then it redoes them. So it is actually quite quick to draw your awesome little square on your screen. You can also use the arrow keys to move up to the commands. So right now I clicked on Seth 280 and then I could backspace and type my smart number before I press enter and build my perfect square. I'm going to type in the 270 to be aimed the correct way and I'm going to do forward 50. Since you're aimed this way, why don't you see if you can use your old commands to quickly draw another square. What Seth heading would that be? Well, that would be Seth zero. And when you've got two squares on your screen, turn on your call light so I can check it out. Call lights are in the center of the area and there is one switch for all four of the people at this row. So when you've got your screen looking like that, turn on the call light so I can give you the thumbs up. If you're looking closely, you'll notice the last word I typed was home. That's an awesome one that always gets us back to that first location where zero zero is in our logo programming screen. This was all fun, but it is not possible to save. So let's do clear screen and get rid of it. The shortcut for clear screen is CS. Remember these three shortcuts so far, Seth, forward and CS. They are important for you to know. We need to create words so that we can save them. To create a word, you click the word file and we choose edit and we need to give the new word a name. The word we want to create is called SQ. When your editor shows up, make sure you squeeze it so it fits on top of your screen. That way you can still watch the video. And then this is like a sandwich. There is a top slice of bread where it says two, and then the word we're going to create, remember we're going to create SQ, and then inside is the filling of the sandwich, or like the peanut butter and jelly. Our filling is going to be the command forward 50, and then we're going to chase it with write 90. Write 90 is a new command, 
but it should be a simple command for you to understand. It's like the set heading, but we're always going to turn to the right. If you do edit copy or control C, you can copy that line down and you are starting to make a square in a command called square. How many sides did we just draw? Ask yourself that. And then how many more sides would we need? Hopefully you remember that there are four sides in a square, so there are four forward 50s. When you're done, you can hit File, Save and Exit. Make sure your screen is cleared, and then when you type SQ and press Enter, bam, in one simple step, it draws an amazing square. Because we have just created this, now you can click File, Save. We want to always save in our quick access, Downloads. When you click on Downloads, type Logo, and put your name after it. I've done this a few times, so I'm going to put a 2019 so I can keep track. And I'm also going to add day one, just because it's always good to have more than one copy so you don't lose your work. All right, friends, so this is where it gets a little bit fun. We are going to use that piece of code to make something awesome. Uh, we're going to do CS, and then we're going to type repeat. Make sure you spell that correctly. And then after repeat, we need to put a number. I'm going to just tell you to put in 25, space, and then we use the square brackets. Look at your keyboard above the enter key and you'll see the two square brackets. We're going to use those quite a bit. We're going to use our cool square code and then we're going to do the write command. And then I want you to tell it to turn 10 degrees and put the brackets back on. I want you right now to type that in and I want you to pause my video so that you actually see it happen on your screen before it happens on my video. You did pause, right? Check your neighbors, make sure they're pausing as well. When you do press enter, check out how awesome that little design is. Notice there is a square here, and then it rotates, and then there's another square. You'll notice it did not go all the way around. That's because as a former math teacher, I wanted to make sure you knew we had to go 360 degrees or 36 times to get all the way around. So let's click on our old command, click on the new command, type 36, press enter. Notice this time it clears and goes all the way around. What's fun about this is you can click on it and you can just change it again and again, trying to find more awesome designs. When I do 45 degrees, check that out. When I do 31 degrees, what do I get? Right now I need you to explore several of these as you try and make something awesome on the screen. If you wanna keep more than one, you can delete the CS I'm gonna put in a different number. I'm gonna put a 131. And when I press enter, my design gets a little cooler. I'm gonna add another cool command. There's something called set pen color, where it's set PC, and you've got the numbers from zero to 16. When you press one, it changes the color, but to see it draw in the new color, you need to make a new code. So I'm gonna put something silly in front of this. I'm gonna go forward 20 and then have it draw the squares. And look at how much different my design is. I'm gonna click on set PC and change it to two. And then I'm gonna click, and then I'm gonna click on my code. And this time I'm gonna put a forward 15 after it, just cause I'm adjusting and seeing how wacky I can make my design. What if I did set PC and I did seven? Actually, I know seven is white, I won't do seven. I'm going to do eight, and then I'm going to put a second square at the end. What would this crazy thing look like? Still shows up kind of on top of it and makes a mess. I'm going to clear my screen, and I'm just going to tell you to explore these as you try and figure out some fun combinations that you can create. I'm going to go back to set PC2, and I'm going to draw that design. I'm going to move way off my screen, so I'm going to do forward 70. So I'm way up here, and I'm going to do a different set PC, and I'm going to go back and draw one of my old designs so I can see them all showing up on my screen as I create something awesome. And just because I want to make something really wacky, I'm going to go back to this one where it went forward square, right 130, and instead of forward 15, I'm going to make it forward 45. 
And then after that square draws, I want it to turn right. I want it to turn right. I'm going to say 60 more. You can try your own fantastic numbers. Let's see what we get as we keep drawing these fancy things. When you've got something awesome on your screen to show me, make sure you've got at least three designs. I need you to click File, Save. Nothing will happen because we already did a save. If it does ask you your file name, make sure you choose that Downloads folder like I showed you earlier. So friends, when you've got at least three awesome designs on your screen, you are done and then part of my class means you have to turn in a screenshot. To do that, click down in the search and type SNI for the snipping tool. Right click on it because we want to pin it to the taskbar. That way you've always got it. Make sure your partners are successful with that as well. Then you can clip on, click on the snipping tool and choose new and then today you're just turning in the pictures of the awesome design you made. Once you've selected it, let's also do something cool. Grabbing the custom pen, make it thicker and let's put something on it. I'm gonna put a smiley face and I'm gonna put day one. You can also put your name so it makes it easier for me to remember those as I'm trying to learn everybody. When you've got that nice and decorated, hit save and then we want to go to quick access downloads and we need to make a folder called logo. I'm going to type L-O-G-O. When I press enter, I can go in it and then I'm going to call this capture and I'm going to just put day one after it. Once you've got that done, close the window and move to Google Classroom. So in Classroom, you need to find classwork and here is the FMS logo lesson you've been doing. You need to hit view assignment. You need to hit add. We are adding files. Remember you are selecting from your device. We are going to downloads and there in the logo folder is that image. Make sure you're turning in the picture. Do not turn in anything else. When you hit upload, wait a few moments and make sure you hit the turn in button. Otherwise it doesn't really count. And I do put these grades in. When you're done with that, you can just try and draw fun things on the screen. You can see here I made a quick H, like I was making HL Mod Tech. I'm going to do the Seth to make my next letter, and let me just show you a bonus second. If I do Pan Up, which is PU, now when I do Forward 10, there's no line. I'm going to change my Seth back to zero. So if I was going to do an L, now it's aimed up. You just have to remember to put the pen down so that it draws the next time. There's my forward 50. I'm gonna go back 50. That's another command I hadn't shown you. When I do right 90, or I could have done Seth 90, both it aims the same way. And there's my forward 30 for an L. Remember to not draw, you can do pen up, forward, move away, and then make your next letter and just have fun trying to put your name or HL Mod Tech on the screen. I do want to warn you that this is not savable because we're just doing the fun code on the screen. The only way to save it was if we made a word. Alrighty friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this even though it was the first day of class. Make sure you store these skills because we're going to use them a lot. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.